hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel so for this tutorial i'm going with soap brows and i'm just going to make sure that i slick my eyebrows all the way up so you could get that menacing look and for this tutorial i made sure that my eyebrows were really thick so now i'm just going to do my base as normal nothing changes here So now we are just going in with that brown color all over your lids. So now we are just getting into the scar specific details and you're going to start by drawing an upside down triangle in between your hairline. Now this is arguably the most important part of this look and that's drawing on the muzzle. You're going to have to pick a concealer that's one to two shades lighter than what you normally use. Then you're just going to take it from the end of one nostril to the other side. Be sure to blend it out. <laughs> to set it, you're going to have to use a lavender or a translucent powder. Now for the scar, I'm just going in with some white primer that I lightly tapped in that brown shade on our eye, which will help the scar look more realistic. now i'm just going in with that color and this is going to give it that raised and red look and this is what you need to give it more depth see now it looks more like a gash instead of being flat now we are just going to work on the nose and we're just going to use eyeliner to map it out then we are going in with some gel liner and this just gives it more of a wet look now you're just going to take some eyeliner and drag it from your nose down to your lips. No contour for this look, you actually want a wider looking nose. So you're just going to take the eyeliner from your eye and drag it all the way down to your nose. So now we are just going to draw on some whiskers. Now you just want to line your lips with a black lip liner. I'm taking the same gel liner and just going in on my lips. So now I'm just going in with some lip plumping gloss to make my lips a little bit more plump and shiny. So what do we think? I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you already know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment.